Hey everybody, welcome back to MapQuest, the Portal Crystals. I am your host, Bleaker, and on this episode... God, where do we stand here? So we just got the Blacksmith Sword, so that's good. Now, I think, in Quest 2, we're gonna go see the mayor of this fine establishment. Honestly, I think this is the best NPC in the whole game. Not being biased at all. Just a little off the beaten path here, seeing if there isn't any loot chests. Because we're going to need a lot of money here in this next portion. I mean a lot of money. And as is usual with my playthroughs, I forgot to set my timer. Now we're going to go just off the beaten path a little bit. Just a little bit. Not too much, though. Just enough. Is there anything over this way? Maybe. Nope, doesn't appear to be. If I were to go a little further, maybe, but, you know, we got places to be, things to do. Uh, let's see. Pine forest, that way, not interested. Giant sword. Ah! Here we are. Oh, there we go. Now let's set a spawn point while I'm here. Ah. <sighs> Stonewall Village. Buy, sell, trade. Population 15. Go. Ah. Stonewall Village. Alright, so we need to speak to the... Oh, money bag over here. Yeah, we're doing good on money. Doing very good on money. Let's take a moment to appreciate this music. Alright, that's enough of that. I'll go down there later. Oh, chest. Coins for days! Uh, here's the bank. This is, as you can probably tell, different kinds of um, currency are worth different amounts. So what the really nice about the... is about Joffrey here, your friendly banker, is we can exchange currency. So like with these 20 bags, I can get 20 silver coins. But I'm going to convert them all into gold coins, and we're going to need a lot of them. Ah, uh, the mayor's office. Now, I am a little biased because, well, um, stand in front of the village. I am a little biased for, um, probably pretty obvious reasons. Hang on. There we go. Hey! Asshole! Look this way. Fine. I am a little biased, as you can probably tell, if you're not a believer. Yeah. I don't really like this head. I need to do a new... I need to do a new Minecraft skin at some point. But yeah, I am a little biased. I just like this head because it had headphones. But first things first. You know what, I will take the raw salmon. I can always cook that later. Steak I'll take, chicken I'll take, oven. Okay. Hello, Bleaker. I am Bleaker, the mayor of this town. How can I help you? Trust me, I don't sound like this in real life. This is the most accurate voice... This is the most accurate voice acting you're going to get of this mayor. The most accurate. I just realized that. This is the most accurate voice acting you are going to get of this character. Um, tell me about this town. We have a trader's lodge, a bank, there's even a house for sale. But if you're looking for markets, Brookwater Springs is the place to go. Not interested. Um, yes, I was talking to him, then a portal opened right in front of him and sucked him in. I tried to pull him free, but it was too strong. Trust me, I've been lifting lately. Putting those big... Making those gains. You can't actually tell, but I am flexing right now. Deadlifted 275 the other day, no big deal. Anyways, um, this was before I lifted. Do you know anything about the portal realm? 15 portal crystals can be used to open the portal realm. And if the stories are true, there are over 30 crystals scattered across the lands. Well, good luck, narrow paths cross again. What are you doing behind that desk? Well, being a mayor means a lot of bookkeeping. Anyways, we'll be meeting again. So that's what we need. We need 15 portal crystals to actually get into the portal realm. 
If you get the bare minimum of 15, you get one ending. If you get the... Excuse me, I had some pineapple. If you get the... <laughs> if you get the maximum amount, you get another ending. And I've never done the other ending. But anyways. Dungeons. Let's just see what dungeons say. There are four dungeons across the land of Ara. They're, they are hazardous locations to explore and are only for the bravest. However, these dungeons hold the greatest treasures man could find. It has been said the most powerful armor exists in existence rests in the four dungeons, a piece hidden in each one, and one powerful blade to match. Among other things are those portal crystals artifacts. However, dungeons are dangerous, and Ara Council warns against exploring them and takes no responsibility if you die. And they are actually pretty hard to do, believe it or not. Actually, if you guys check out my trailer, shameless plug, on this map, um, you actually see a portion. The One of the final cutscenes is a picture of a turret that's you have to navigate. But um, that's Dungeon 4. We'll get to that one eventually. Uh, money, 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 money. Spoken to the mayor. Alright, let's go to leave. You've spoken to Bleaker. Go to House 22 and speak to Jared. Quest Log 3. Bleaker has told you there are over 30 portal crystals scattered across the lands, but you only need 15 to open the portal realm. Turn over. You need to see Jared here in House 22, and you should look into buying House 26. Haha, <laughs> 26 is like my favorite number. I don't know if that was intentional or not. But 26 is legit my favorite number. Eh, I don't really want to talk to you. Jared! He went to Jared. Oh god, cutscene. Hello, Jared. I'm looking for information on the portal that sucked up my brother. Hi, Bleaker. A portal breach that sucked up your brother can be reopened, and it is apparently safe to enter the realm. But let me tell you our story first. A thousand or so years ago was a collision. This planet was in a collision course with a planet called Prexus. Legend tells of seven mages that appeared out of nowhere and built seven towers. From their towers, they cast powerful spells into the sky, creating a barrier of space between our planet and the other planet, thus saving both planets. The space between our planet and the other is a void we call the Portal Realm, and it can be reached if... Go on. You have 15 of these artifacts called portal crystals. Apparently they are buried all across the lands. Rumor has it that... 15 can be used in a portal barrier to activate it. Open a gate to the portal realm. And then you can enter the realm and find your brother. Sometimes breaches like the one that sucked your brother in appear every now and then. And if you're unlucky enough to be near them, then you might end up in the realm. The old man that lived in House 26 here in town was an adventurer, but he went missing several years ago as well. His house is up for sale, and... You should look into buying it, but unfortunately the real estate guy is on holidays at the moment. It is Labor Day, I don't blame him. Now you should talk to all the villagers here. I have heard that there is a portal crystal in the well here in town. I will do that if I could leave. Go speak to Leroy Mc... McGranger in House 25. I'm sure he knows a secret to the well. Here, take this key and go to the bank here in town. Take the money in the safe upstairs. That should help you get started. No, oh, not yet. Good luck. Read the quest log if you get stuck on where to go or what to do next. Thank you. Nope. Oh. Quest log four. Perfect. First things first, I'm going to rob him blind. Oh, he's got nothing there. Oh, the upstairs. Trust me, I'm the hero of this story. That's why I'm robbing you. Cold water. I don't really need the cold water. I will happily take the food, though. TV. Any 
anything else here that I would like to pick up? I don't think so. House 22. I think McGregor lives here. Yes! Huh, imagine if we had the if I had the money to buy House 26. Imagine all the treasures in there. I would be rich. Leroy Jenkins, everybody. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. I was just talking to myself. Have you seen the well in town? Rumor says there's a portal a portal crystal rests in there. Indeed it does. That's funny. I was just about to ask you. Oh, that's me. How would you get into the town well? You can't. Well, I mean, I can't let you enter without acquiring a bow first. The well is dangerous and overrun with creatures. Mostly spiders. If I remember correctly, the man who once lived in House 26 owned a bow. So if you want to acquire a boat, the only way to do that is to buy the house. The real estate agent guy should be back. I thought the real estate guy was on holiday. The real estate guy was on holiday. Yes, he was. As it just so happens, he came back late last night. What a guy. You got main quest five. Okay, what does main quest five say? Um, Lee Moria McGregor will not let you enter the well without a bow, and has told you the old adventurer lived in House 26, owned a bow. The only way to acquire it is to buy the house. All right. Let's go talk to the real estate agent. Real estate agent, 27. Hey, stranger, I am currently selling House 26 for you, only 100 gold coins. Because I like you, stranger, what do you say? No better bargain. I know it's really expensive, but you need to remember the house is a highly sought after property. This is our bottleneck here, folks. Um. Oh. Cool. Signs. This is the bottleneck here in the game that I was referring to. This one, this part hosed me up for uh, about 45 minutes while I tracked down enough money. So these next couple episodes may be dedicated to that fact. So, let's go down into this hole now, because I know there's stuff down here. Mostly lava. Ooh, 50. There we go. So we need approximately $500 to buy... Oh, wait, no. 100? Yeah, f approximately $500 to purchase the house from the real estate agent. And there is lots of opportunities to find money. But there is a particular side quest when you talk to a particular NPC. Actually, we already got it. The Lost Green Key, which I believe... Nope, not there. It's 2017. I can do what I want. There we go. More money... Yes, there's a particular NPC in town that'll actually give us this lost green key. Eh. Don't know if it was this guy or not. Yo! Uh, owned by an adventurer, he stored all of his treasures and he came home each night. Yes, I agree. He probably did. Oh, one day he never came back. And the house has been for sale ever since, I imagine? No, oh, now his house is for sale. I'm aware. It must have been this house, then. I know somebody here has the key. Len! Hello there, Bleaker. How may I help may I help you with something? I'm trying to get enough money to buy the house here. Do you have any chores that need doing? I cannot think of anything at the moment, but I did find this green key the other day when I was out walking. I don't know what it is for, but you can have it. Perfect. So that's going to complete this side quest here with the Lost Green Key. So we're going to run over back to the village lost in the woods. Actually, we'll detour here really fast. Because there's a safe. I'm about to rob a bank, by the way. Don't repeat this at home. Don't do this at home, kids. There we go. Lots of money. 50, 10, 20. Excellent. Leave the key in there. Thank you. Have a nice day. 
Hey, I just robbed you. Can I exchange? Oh, thanks. Let's see, this is the 10. That should be the 20. 50. Now let's convert everything over. So at this point, you're nearly halfway there. Excellent. Actually, we're over halfway there. Ah, living on a prayer. Take my hand and we'll make it, I swear. Whoa, oh, living on a prayer. No, we are completing this quest, phone. This village lost in the woods this way. Ow, my kneecaps. Stealthily dodging trees. Welcome to the village lost in the woods. Now, I believe... Nope, it wasn't you, Tamron. It was your neighbor or your roommate. I don't judge. You found my key. I'm so happy. Here, take these. Woo! Ho, ho, ho! 20 gold coins. Holy crap. I wonder if there's anybody else that I can speak to around these parts. Now that I've spoken to Tamron and done everything that I need to do in the Lost Village. Any more chests? Oh, is that a chest back here? Don't think so. Nope, just mushrooms that look like chests. Haha, -ha, chest! Look at that! Almost ran by it. In the village in the Lost Wood. Um, let's speak to... Okay, not friendly. Jerk. Taking your food, though. That was the parkour puzzle. I already did that. Third house. One last time. Huh. These people aren't very friendly. Well, rob you blind anyways. Alright. Tamron, I have assisted. I have raided everything. Alright guys, that is all the time we have for today. As you know, my timer just went off a few minutes ago. Um, when we come back, we are going to finish up our quest for more money. Oh my gosh, the space ball. A quest for more money. Haha! <laughs> um, there's a, there's um, a few other places that I know to look. And we'll cover those. I'm actually running over to one right now. And I'm going to quick take a gander to see if there is. Yep, there they are actually. Is that them? I don't remember there being a chest there, but whatever. Money is money. Is there any more? Yep, one more. Um, yes, like I said, we'll come back, get the last chunk of change we need to complete this main quest, and from there we should be able to get the portal crystal next episode. I know this opening dungeon isn't very long. Oh, hey, I just picked up a coin there. Nice. Yeah, that opening dungeon -y area isn't very long to get into the portal, so we might be... Oh, look at that, just coins all over the place. But, um, again, thank you all for the support. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, it lets me know that I'm doing well and keeps me... Oh, sorry, I'm, really, I'm feeling great today. And keeps me, uh, really encouraging to keep videos going there, keeps me encouraged to get videos up. But, um, that is all the time we have, guys, on more coins. That is all the time we have for today, and until next time, guys, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya. Mm -hmm.